COVID-19 has caused a shortage of daily necessities and prevention materials worldwide. A cultural center in Taipei has organized two free workshops to teach the public how to make infrared thermometers and UV light boxes, which can be used for disinfecting masks. These workshops have been made available in an online video format, along with the programming code for the infrared thermometer. Thermometers and face masks are in high demand and can be hard to find. In April, the Taiwan Contemporary Culture Lab, or C-Lab, held two free workshops to teach people how to make their own personal protection equipment. Connect the infrared sensor module to the jump wire, then use the jump wire to join the module with a microbit docking station. This DIY thermometer can be made with everyday materials and a microchip technology that elementary and junior high school students use in their classes. Because the, the markets there lack of lots of the equipment, so it becomes more and more expensive. That's why maybe we can do by ourselves and share the knowledge and how to make it there are people that cannot buy this equipment and they can easy to get it and do it by themselves. For example, we use a, a, a very a cheap and accessible uh, microchip, uh, it's called Microbit. They can download our code and assemble easily now so they can make the DIY ceramic by themselves. Participants in the other workshops made their own UV light box, which can be used to effectively sanitize face masks. One is DIY. Uh, UV light box so you can uh, clean your mask by yourself. You don't waste out of mask. So people will ask, does it work? How does it uh, the effect? So uh, our engineer, after the workshop, so they have to do the, the, the test. They use the, the culture that they get some uh, virus from the uh, virus from the in, in environment. Right side has no UV light. So the left side is after the UV light. So after a few days, you will see that some uh, uh, bacteria is just on it. So it means that it works. The workshops were run by experts in several fields, including biomedical sciences, architecture, and engineering. After the workshops in April, C Lab released the DIY instructions in online videos. These tutorials are subtitled in English, Spanish, Chinese, and Japanese. Written procedures, images, and programming codes are all available for free online. C Lab hopes to create more tutorials in the future and to empower more people to take action in the global fight against the virus. For Mosa News, Stephanie Yang, Wang Wenxi in Taipei.